Titan slamming Crash Bandicoot in the mud puddle again, but this time nothing resembles the classics. Not that there's anything truly wrong with that, like Mario 2 and Zelda 2 are different, and they're good games, but if it's going to be different, it better be good, because if it's bad, it's twice the disgrace, like this game. Sometimes new is better, like Wrath of Cortex is too similar to the classics, but this game went way too far. It should have been new while staying true to its roots, like Galaxy. Not only is it too new, it's a Crash Bandicoot was Sony's Mario, ruled, was cool, and radical in a wacky kind of way. He was the perfect mascot to join Sonic and Mario. Now, like Crash, everyone looked nice before, but now, they're all ugly. Crash makes these retarded grunting noises, punches like he's trying to grab a piece of cake while he's tied down with rope, now he spins like he's doing ballet. Nothing is truly original about this game. Cortex needs Mojo to rule the world. Mojo? Mojo. Mojo! Like from Austin Powers? Yeah, baby, yeah! Mojo means magic power, but come on, it's practically copyrighted. Enemies sound like Daxter. Look, old man! Are you gonna keep yapping? Or are you gonna help me out of this mess? Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. And some of the sound effects sound like they were ripped directly from 60s Batman movies. They painstakingly slow down the animation so we can truly see how sh** it looks. Enemies walk like there's a stick crammed up their ass. And why does Crash need to jack enemies to beat the stronger ones? Crash should be kicking the sh** out of everyone. Imagine if Mario had to fight Bowser in a giant robot. There's not a reason why he can't, seeing how far he can throw a heavy object so hard it breaks the metal chain. Anyway, the game focuses too much on fighting enemies than being a platform game like it should. Most of the time, all you have to do to beat them is tap the square button, and it gets very repetitive. There's too many of them. Sometimes, you have to fight them in order to progress, and they never end. Sometimes, you can't land a single shot because they permanently stay in defense mode, and when you turn around to punch their ass, they instantly turn around. Damn it! You know what? I'm just gonna do it myself. Oh look, he really can beat up the stronger enemies by himself. Kind of defeats the entire purpose of jacking enemies, don't you think? But he still needs to jack the stronger ones to beat the bosses. What a wimp. Invisible walls are everywhere. Like, what's the point of it being a platform game if in many areas, you can't even fall off? You have to wait for the logs to completely settle before you can move across them. Now look at this. I'm trapped in an invisible tunnel with an invisible dead end. I have to jack off this enemy before I can continue about. The game is also very slow. Come on, run faster. What are you waiting for? Tinkerbell to wipe your ass for you? Aiming can be very awkward. Look, I'm trying to shoot that target. Come on! Greasy kangaroo nuts! Give me a break! Oh man! The controls? Interestingly suck. Jokes are everywhere, and they're negatively funny. Long last, the world will have a way to recycle butter! Hey, that was a good one! <laughs> a typewriting monkey could make funnier jokes. And I shall call this robot... THE DOOMINATOR! Yeah, yeah! That name sucks! Like, this game sucks? Now, do they have something against the Wizard of Oz? I hope Dorothy and the real Crash beat the sh** fake. This game is a disgrace to the Bandicoot's legacy. Damn this damn floating beluga whale f***ing goes with the seaweed down the damn beaver dam. And have more fun making deep f***ing mud pies. It's the shameful disgrace of mankind. Sonic the Hedgehog, me 